have an impression how many are they in orbit. But uh, as today's communication, satellite communication are based mainly on geostationary satellites because they are synchronized with the rotation of the Earth and stay uh, fixed in the sky. So we can point antenna to the satellite and that's all. You don't need to protract uh, a signal. Uh, on this naive picture, <laughs> you can see there are some, uh, some application of satellites uh, for us satellite communication. You see the geostationary satellites and lower orbit satellites and uh, earth stations which communicate with, within uh, each other and with uh, several networks uh, of the, uh, on the earth and the mobile objects which can be cars and ships and buses and trains and airplanes and so on. So it's a huge, uh, huge area of application for such type of communication, uh, and and which is very important that these uh, communication are not connected with the infrastructure on the Earth. They are uh, repeaters in the space, and you can communicate anywhere in the Earth, in the in the desert, in the jungle, and uh, when there is no other type of communication. Um, and uh, what is the main services which are supported <coughs> by the uh, communication? The first one is uh, FSS, so called Fixed Satellite Service, which is supporting communication between two ground stations using uh, uh, re repeaters in space. So you can uh, 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 transfer a huge amount of information between two Earth stations which are on uh, different part of the Earth in different uh, continents. <coughs> uh, the next, uh, which is very <coughs> popular, is the PPSS service, which is the broadcasting service. Everyone of you knows the, that you can put a, a dish at home and have a TV pictures and, uh, and radio channels and so on. So this is the uh, broadcasting service. So the, uh, satellite is used well, like a station which is uh, uh, <coughs> broadcast uh, TV programs, radio programs, the data and so on. Uh, also, which is now very important, is the MSS, which is Mobile Satellite Service, which uh, provides the service to the all mobile users. Uh, all mobile uh, platforms on the aircraft and ships and uh, cars and buses and trains and so on. Uh, navigation service, you know this well. This is a GPS service in, uh, in Europe and United States. GLONASS, which was the uh, whole system of the uh, Soviet Union and now it's open for use for all users in the world. Uh, I, and Leo, which is now in the under development, this is European uh, uh, navigation system. Also, you know, the, a lot of satellites are uh, uh, dedicated to provide um, metal information about this metal sub, knowing in the United States and so on. A scientific space mission, this is the missions which are. Uh, you know, in deep space, you know the uh, missions which is flying to uh, Mars and some other planets, and so you, you need uh, communication with these missions. You need to send picture to the Earth and to send comments for the Earth to, to, uh, to missions. Also, a huge number of satellites are dedicated to the military missions. Uh, amateur service, but they use the service. A lot of satellites uh, uh, are used for an um, um, amateur service. Uh, this is small satellites, as you see in the previous lecture, which is used for educational purposes, scientific and communication purposes. Uh, main component of each 
satellite networks. This communication uh, is satellite segments, which can, uh, is, uh, includes uh, communication satellites with, with their main systems like uh, power supply system and uh, control system and uh, thermal control um, uh, uh, communication equipment, which is antennas and, uh, and uh, repeaters and so on. And also in these segments are including and ground facilities, which are dedicated to the control of the satellite. We call the life of a life of large communication satellites is uh, over 15 years. So in these 15 years, you need to have satellites on his uh, point in the sky. So you need to uh, put in action uh, motors for some time in order to adjust the position, to adjust the height of the orbit, and to switch between uh, uh, electronic components inside and so on. And ground segment, which is includes all Earth stations, which are maybe fixed on mobile, or which is used for the in, in ground. This is a short table, which are, you can see the main uh, frequency bands, which are used in satellite communication. This is so-called L band, C band, S band, S band, K band, K band, which is um, in the frequency of 1.5 for the amateur uh, services uh, and for small satellite services, uh, mainly are used uh, so-called um, uh, free uh, frequency bands, of which are uh, dedicated for the medical, scientific, and uh, and um, and uh, in industrial application which are not needed a license we because all these um, all these um, uh, depends which are used for the communication satellites are you need license which is very expensive and take a lot of time so for, for small satellites and for amateur satellite uh, they are using usually free depends uh, which are not needed license So type of networks, there is a global network which cover all the uh, surface of the Earth and, and it's also you have a regional uh, networks which cover some parts of the, uh, of the Earth like uh, Arabsat, uh, Oitelsat, uh, Telex, Hispasat, Alapa and so on which are covered different regions of the world. Uh, a coverage, uh, the, in principle, each of the geostationary satellites can cover one third of the Earth's surface. So, uh, so it's a huge coverage, uh, but uh, uh, such huge coverage are never used because you, you have a very low amount of power, because power is spread over a huge area, and uh, so it is not um, economically uh, useful. So uh, usually we have uh, uh, the different service area with different size uh, uh, depending on the application. So if you have some question of, or if it is not it, interesting, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, this is the some example of areas of the one of the uh, geospatial is what the lights called the W4. You, you can see the different shape of the service uh, area, which is can be a huge areas and, and can be small, it's so called spot areas. So, in, in principle, uh, if the area is small, you, you have a uh, uh, energy which is uh, transmitted for the, from the satellite is uh, very dense and you can use smaller antennas on the Earth. So it's, uh, it's economically is uh, more uh, 
viable because the uh, huge amount of antennas are small and low cost. So this is the schematic of the typical satellite -like link. You have uplink, which is between uh, ground station, earth station, and the satellite, and downlink from the uh, town to the next station. And uh, in satellite, is in fact uh, a repeater. He's, uh, he received the signal from one station, amplify it, and change the uh, frequency and. Uh, and, and, and it tells me to other uh, earth station. So, uh, unfortunately, in the red kill channel, uh, 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 we have noise. So, uh, we have a, a signal which is useful, which, which uh, brings our information, but you have uh, also noise, which is uh, from uh, from uh, maybe it's a, a thermal noise, which is due to the movement of the particle of the matter. Because you know that particles are, are, are uh, charged, so when you move charged uh, particles, this uh, means that you have a radiation of uh, electromagnetic waves. And this, uh, but communication is noise. So in order to have a good communication, you need to achieve the, the such uh, a ratio between the, the useful information and noise. So this is so-called carrier to noise ratio. And, uh, and all the philosophy of, uh, of uh, links, a bit to links are connected with, with this of equation. So in, in order, uh, you can see that the, uh, uh, the carrier to noise uh, ratio is depends on the of the transmit uh, gain of the antenna, of the transmit power, mm -hmm. and the gain of the steering in, in antenna and losses in the in the channel. You see that the losses are huge because the uh, satellites are far in the space, so you have uh, a big wave with to tra a terrible lot of distance and uh, uh, losses are huge. So you see that the, for the terrible stationary orbit, you have around 205 dB loss. So it's huge. So you need to, to have an antennas on the ground station in the satellite, which have a huge gain. So they have, in fact, a beam is very sharp. So, <coughs> um, so, you, so if, uh, if, you, if you need to have a, a good communication and to have a high speed communication to, to have a nine megabit per second, you need to, to use a, a antennas with high gain, which means huge antennas with sharp beams. And this is the, in fact, what is the noise uh, sources in the channel? You see this uh, one, one example of the communication is the normal pile antenna. And you have a noise with, we have the thermal noise from the sky. Uh, we have noise from the earth, uh, from, from the the side lobes of antennas will have interference from the uh, 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 communication system and from uh, space. So we, uh, the, the, all the uh, many challenges in the design of links is just to reduce the noise and to increase the, uh, the signal and to ensure that you have a good signal migration. Okay, so this is the digital link, a digital typical link. We have a, a, a channel coding, modulation, uplink, and downlink. And, and this is the, let's see, uh, see what kind of orbits we, we can use in the satellite communication. 
so we, we can use Leo orbits, which is low Earth orbit, which uh, is typical for small satellites. These orbits are in a height between 700 and 2,000 kilometers above Earth. Uh, but uh, if you use such type of satellite for, for communication, in fact, you have communication for very short period of time. Because each satellite uh, goes through typical uh, point of the Earth several minutes over the day. So you don't uh, uh, use this orbit in order to have a permanent communication. So in order to have a permanent communication with uh, Leo or the satellites, you need to have a many satellites. So you, you need to, to have a fleet of satellites. It's a, a several hundred satellites over the years in order to have uh, to, 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 to cover all the space in the, on, on the Earth. Uh, next orbit is so-called neo orbit, medium orbit, which is around more than 2,000 kilometers. And the most popular orbit, as as I said previously, is a geo orbit, which, uh, which is synchronized with the Earth's rotation. But it is only one orbit, uh, not um, not. It's like you, but only for one uh, orbit on the equatorial uh, plane of the Earth, uh, which is in the height of uh, uh, height of three uh, thirty-five seven eight six uh, thousand uh, kilometers above Earth. <coughs> also. Uh, a uh, HEO orbit, uh, it's high elliptic orbit, it's very popular, which is uh, used mainly for the amateur uh, radio. Uh, because you have a uh, um, very close, the dust lights go very close to the Earth in the, uh, on the southern part of the uh, Pacific Ocean. And it has a, a huge height over the north hemisphere of the Earth. So if we have a, a communication from the points of the uh, north hemisphere for several hours, maybe six, eight hours. So this is uh, useful for uh, such type of communication. But, uh, to achieve a high speed communication using such type of orbit, we need to have a sharp beam antennas and we need to track the satellite. This is the geostationary orbit and the position of the satellites. This is the uh, east, uh, east of the um, East uh, of Pacification and West Pacification and West Pacification. This is the geostationary arc. You, you can, uh, how you can see the geostationary orbit from the Earth, from the, from the position of the station. Uh, when you go on north, if you, if you go north, the arc is down and if you go a thousand arcs goes up and in the, in the equator you have arc in the in the limit. This is the launching of the communication satellites. They are a huge device. They are the uh, the weight of the typical communication satellites is around three thousand uh, kilograms. So the Launching only for such type of satellites cost $90 million. So it's a huge investment. And, uh, so and, and, and when you launch that, such type of, of satellite, all the launching uh, procedure takes uh, seven months. So it's uh, it, it big because you first go to the uh, lower orbit and go to the uh, elliptic orbit and then go to the 
this using the this is the picture, the schematic picture of one type of satellite, which is devised by the rotation. So uh, this is uh, stabilized by the principle of the telescope. Uh, you keep, uh, here you, you can see the many parts of the satellite, the power systems, the solar panel antennas. Uh, orientation is very important because you have a, you need to have a stable orientation because to, to be sure that the, uh, the surface areas of the, on the Earth are on, 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 on place. And you, you need also to have the orientation for, for the sun and so on. Uh, and this is the second type of the typical communication satellite. We have a, which has a huge panels, which is deployable, and, and uh, they have the station by the child's by the uh, axis. This is the picture of the antennas of one of the uh, communication satellite, NILSAT, which is service Africa. And this is the small satellite. This is the uh, I uh, I will tell some words about the, this is the so-called um, um, Oscar, which means uh, orbiting satellite carrying on amateur radio. This is a typical from the uh, amateur radio links. This is the equipment, the bands and the antennas which are uh, maybe launch on a typical uh, amateur uh, radio satellite. You see that they have a leaks in uh, DHF bands, in UHF bands, in S band, and L band, so the different uh, options. Uh, then the only uh, communication system which is now and I think in the moment is the Iridium system, uh, which includes 66 satellites uh, launching on the six orbits, and they uh, uh, make a communication in the uh, L band, which is only for uh, for uh, 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 telephone links. It's not high speed communication. We, we cannot use it for the uh, uh, TV pictures on uh, the radio only or on links. Uh, it's called Iridium because the first uh, the first attempt was to launch 77 satellites, which is the uh, atomic uh, <laughs> number of it, it, Iridium. So it's called Iridium, but they uh, decided then to uh, optimize the system and to produce the number of <coughs> and now it is, it is used, but it is not economically uh, accessible because the, the service is, is very uh, expensive and uh, they have many low number of the, of the uh, subscribers. So they are used mainly in uh, Antarctica, in uh, Arctic, in polar region, in uh, for the mountain near, near in Nepal and so on, so such exotic application it is not uh, a huge uh, number of uh, uh, users. So what is interesting now is uh, so-called uh, high throughout satellites, which are launched uh, recently from uh, several years. And this is a very promising service, uh, which is in fact uh, make uh, a cellular system on the Earth. You can see that the cells from, from the beams from the antennas of the satellites. And it is planned to achieve a very high speed of communication, around 150 megabit per second. 
So uh, it is planned to be used for the fast internet at all. And maybe in the next years it will be a huge, uh, uh, huge amount of efforts in high satellites and uh, low cost service for the high speed internet at home. This is the big picture of a small, smaller station. This is the, for the receive only. This is for the uh, so-called uh, transmit receive by station, uh, which means very small antenna uh, terminal, uh, which is very popular now in order to uh, to make a call for it. Uh, uh, networks, pilot networks, and so on. This is some like uh, uh, example. You can see so this small this station in Africa, which is used for communication with the small villages and local communities. They get uh, uh, internet service to the to the. Uh, this users and so on. So you see the antenna, the panels for the power supply, and, and this is where the, uh, and, and you can make the communication with the as much more villages in, in the desert, in, uh, in, in Africa, in Latin, like Australia, and so on. This is the portable EMAS terminals for the account service. And this is the indigenous service in uh, Antarctica. You see the uh, uh, telephones uh, with this iridium system with many lowers of these satellites. Uh, they are used mainly for the polar uh, region because it is not possible to use a uh, uh, stationary service here. This is the one object called Cruisecast, which is uh, for the mobile TV uh, service in cars using small, small antennas and uh, dedicated service. Uh, some examples of it have that fast internet uh, in train, in airplanes, and so on. So this is the main uh, application for the many high users. This is in short. <laughs> if you have some uh, some uh, question, please be able to ask. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Very much. To, 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 to have a coffee break for, for a while. The, the, the need yeah. this. Okay. Please, and uh, now we'll. Uh, uh,